Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Avamans, on the Divine Woods server. Yeah, I'm on Divine Woods, and I've just literally logged in to where I had my little kind of antechamber bit where I was going to start to dig out, and I think we've had some help. I think some people have done a bit of digging, so I'm just, I've not even looked at these signs yet, so I'm just going to, they put stairs up, look, we've got stuff, I might put some stuff in there actually, why don't we just get that in there now, because then that's not in my way. We'll pop that there like that. And what do these signs say? Underground city in the making. Can't wait till you're on again. XD Fredney. Mate, that's amazing. That's superb. I'm really delighted. I am a little worried though. There is an issue with underground cities. I was talking to Elfly and he has a concern. And it's actually quite a legitimate concern. That if we do an underground city... And, like, and dig it all out. We could end up getting to someone else's plot that they've claimed. And if they've claimed a plot, was that a ravine? Ooh, that's a ravine. And if they've claimed a plot, then we're not going to be able to dig the dirt and the stone and everything else that's in that plot, are we? So I'm not sure if it is exactly the right thing to do. Um, although, it certainly would be fun. That much is absolutely definite. Right, so what we got here? Is this a... Oh, it's not just a... It's an actual mine shaft. It's a mine shaft and there's zombies. The zombies are coming for me, obviously. So, they can they get to me? They can. Let's just bash them. I think this is the only way they can get to me. So I can kind of tune them in a little bit. If I come there... Right, I'm not exploring that at the moment. <laughs> I am not remotely prepared to be exploring mine shafts at the moment. So let's come back up here. How do I get up? Right, so there, let's go back up here this way. Oh, goodness me. Well, frankly, I don't know which way to go. So I'm going to go up to the surface and see what's going on up here. And once we're there, we'll perhaps, oh, look, we need to make some more steps. We'll make a decision as to what we're going to do on this episode. Now, I'm back up on the surface. What's quite nice, I've been given a little bit of help. So, I've got the stuff that I put there. I've got a little... Ooh, mushroom uh, mushroom stew, it says there. But that's obviously bowls for the mushroom stew. Right, a few tips from your favourite mod, Booths. <laughs> the trees are generated, so you can break them. Ah, right, that's really useful to know. Thank you very much for that. Uh, feel free to visit the Bedrock Home for some mushroom stew. Right, so I'm going to take... The bedrock home. I'll have to have a wander around for that. Right, so I've got more signs. Hello. Oh, you're bless you. Thank you so much, Ajax. That's really, really kind of you. Um, and what we got? Trees. Sorry about the trees. I got like six million donated for my Agenius Bono, and we have a black monk. I want to ask maybe one of three plots to sell your items. I'm the owner of the market behind PvP. That's confused me. Don't exactly know what's going on with that yet, but it's cool. I'm down with that. That's all awesome. That looks like bedrock. Does that mean... Is there actually a doodad here? Ah! There we... I was looking the wrong way. Right. Mushroom stew. Result. Two, three, four, five. Brilliant. I got mushroom stew. Oh, I do love a good mushroom stew. They're so useful. That's brilliant. Thank you so much for that. That's awesome. So I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to do... A little more um, gathering. Were all these trees here last time? I don't think they were, you know. I don't think they were here. Right, have I got any iron? All right, yeah, I, did. I need to understand. So what's going on with this? We've got lead dust. We've got copper dust. We've got aluminium dust. And if I come over here, I've got some other stuff as well. So like tin dust, copper dust. Let's just pop these things in here, look. Magnesium, zinc, iron dust, le more lead dust. Is it? Hang on a minute. A wither skeleton spawn egg. Where did that come from? I never got. Eh? Does someone gifted that to me somehow? I literally don't know where that's come from. Um. This is my confused face. Look at this face. It's a confused face. It's very confused. It doesn't understand, but it will soon. So I'm back down underneath. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig this out a bit more. Because if we can't do an underground city, I get that. And I'll, you know, I'll respect what Elfley's saying there in terms of the challenges that we'll have. But we could certainly do something significant underground here. 
Uh, I quite like the idea of that rather than building loads overground. I need to I need to understand what goes on with iron. I mean, can, is iron even a thing? I've not come across a single iron block. All I've had is that iron dust, so maybe it's not even a thing. We will find out. I also want to find out about kingdoms. So now I'm going to have a look at slash kingdom. Right, so now I can see it. Right, that's much better. Right, the citizens of Raliven follow their goddess Gaia. Their core beliefs are that human is one with nature. They come from nature and will once again become part of it. Well, if they bury you, you're probably right. They believe their faith is determined by actions against their living things. Gaia's followers respect others and can sometimes be slightly submissive due to their kind charisma. Ooh, I don't do submissive. Right, Kingdom of Andares. People of Andares are progressive and innovate, but follow strict rules. They worship the god Slipnir, who is a god of weather and all natural disasters. Well, I hate rain. Often, they are competitive and might do anything to reach their goals. Ooh. Kingdom of Trome. The people of Trome hold their traditions high and stick to their beliefs. They think that anyone who masters the ancient art of the moon tempest shall unite the nations under one rule. Often referred to as moon people, does that mean they go around mooning? Or knights men, they do not follow any god, instead choosing to specialise in magic and spells. Kind, yet sometimes referred to as power hungry. Ooh, I might have an affinity for that. Um, Kingdom of Ceremon. The people of Ceremon worship the god Bagul. 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 It's a, it's a very interesting name. Bagul. Hello, my name is Bagul. I am the god of Ceremon. Who is the overseer of Ivan? Are you just making these words up? The afterlife dimension of Bagul's followers. Violence and thievery is common amongst the citizens of Ceremon. They sound like nasty people and is a way of life. They aren't welcome to outsiders and often bring chaos upon those who comply who do not comply with them. Hmm. I'm not sure Ceremon's my bag. Right, people. Who do you think? Right in the comments. Do you think I should put Raliven and Dares? Trome or Ceremon? Which of those four kingdoms do you think I should get involved with? Because I don't know, you know. Uh, these these guys sound a little bit rollover. Um, these guys, Andaris, they sound innovative. Right, okay, so if I was likening this to, um, like, Divergent. I don't know if you've seen the Divergent film. So these are like the factions in Divergent a little bit. So, yeah, this, mm, I'm not sure... Which of these I ought to be getting involved with? You come and let me know. In the comments below, I want to know, what do you think? I'm not going to join a kingdom now. I'm going to decide after you give me some thoughts. Right, my gooey's back to normal size now because that was making my teeth itch and my eyes squint, so we can't have that at all. So what I think I'm going to do, I am going to dig this out a little bit more. Um, what's my why? So we're at 34, so we've got plenty of room to go downwards. Um, I think I might dig this out a bit more and see what we could do with it, but I do have now genuine concerns about the underground city, which is a bit of a shame. So I'm going to make myself some toolage and then we're going to get digging. I've just TP'd over to Ari Grande 2009's place. Really quite nice. Look at this. They're making their own YouTube video. So if you want to go and have a look at their YouTube channel, please do feel free. It would be really fun. And uh, I figured I'll just pop over and say hello. came up above ground and I ended up chopping some trees and now I've gone on top of this self-made thing because basically they're trying to kill me these things are trying to kill me it's night time and but they can't get me up here so it's fine I'm all right you know what you growl as much as you want as long as there's no phantoms coming for me oh actually are there phantoms on this server I had a spot of bother with a skelly and they panged me a little bit yeah it's uh it's quite uncomfortable. That one in the back of my shoulder is particularly uncomfortable. And that one there looks like it's embedded very, very deeply. I think I might need surgery. But all in all, I'll probably feel better fairly, fairly soon. I've made myself a little farm. And by little, I mean little. It's got one potato 
<laughs> just literally one one potato which was dropped by one of the zombies and we've got seven of uh, uh, seeds planted in there and that's it that's all i've got literally nothing more than that but you know well, you know, it's all good. It's all good. You've got to start somewhere, right? So I wanted to investigate a couple of other things that you can do on this server. Um, specifically, voting. I want to talk about voting just for a minute. So what you can do is you can go slash vote and it gives you some options. So you can go to voting websites. Look at the, what that means is that means that the this particular server gets ranked more highly than others. The more votes it gets, the higher it gets ranked on that server. So more people come and play. So that makes a lot of sense, right? And then it just tells you what voting is so it can explain exactly what voting is all about. And then you also get rewards for voting. So if I click on this, um, voting rewards, feed command, 12 hours, and vote crate key, plus one for each vote. So a vote crate, obviously you get your key for your vote crate. You hit the, on the vote crate that's back at the spawn area and you get stuff for free. It's got to be good, right? So if you come in on the server, and do come on the server, I'm going to ask you to come and do me a favour fairly shortly. If you come on the server, make sure you come on the server and vote. Make sure you vote. And if you vote, as a result of that voting, you get free stuff. And then more people come and play with us, and all is good with the world. Let me just, I want to go and get, I want to fill my doodah up with water, but I might not be allowed because um, this is Jal Marie's place. Jal Marie's came over from... Uh, having seen the last one. Hey, Jamari, are you all right? So but it, what it means is I can't take this water, but I can, I think, take this one. Yes, I can. That's all good. So because this is kind of claimed and part of her plot, which is awesome. That's why it should be. So I've just grown two trees. They grow funny, look. Look, you get funny leaves. You get a mixture of leaves on them, which is cool. What was that? You get a mixture of leaves on them. So I'm planting trees so as I can obviously chop them down again and get more wood. But what I've started to get are my bushes. I need my bushes for my buildings. So I've got myself, of, of my um, iron that I ironed out there, I've got myself some shears. I've got myself an iron sword, some iron pickaxes, and some iron axes. So I can start to pump through these just a little bit faster. All in all, it's going on all right. So I just wanted to mention about this voting again. I've already gone on to Planet Minecraft. If you come on divinewoods.net, which you can actually click through to, if you put slash vote, you get the link and you can just click straight through to it. You can just click on these buttons here. I've done Planet Minecraft already. Click on vote. It takes you to another page. You can see Divine Woods here. So you put your Minecraft username in, Avamance, submit your vote. Wait a moment. And there you go. You have officially voted on Minecraft servers today for that. You can't do it again for another day. So do it each one once on each day and happy days. The server gets loads of votes. We get more people to come and play with us and all is good with the world. Plus, you get free stuff. And when I come back on the server, you can see here, I've got this vote key. It's a vote key voucher. So right click to redeem a random Divine Woods vote key. So I'm just going to right click on this now. Boom. What'd I get? What'd I get? What'd I get? I got a vote crate key. So I can go and use that to right click on a vote crate to win an item. So I'm gonna go back to spawn and see if I can't find them. And it's actually dead simple. You type slash TP crates and boom, you're at the crate. So where's the vote crates? Level one, level two. Is there vote crates here? I don't know. I don't know what, where's the vote crate key? Click on vote crate. I, these are not vote crates. These are level crates, Christmas crate. Where's the vote crates? And they were, of course, right next to me. It's fairly obvious, crates. Vote, look, vote, right next door. I just didn't look because I didn't open my eyes, obviously. Right, so look, so we got vote tier one crate, vote tier three crate, vote tier two crate, and I don't know which one I get to vote. Do slash vote for a free key, do slash vote for a free key, do slash vote for a free key. So what tier do I, do I go on? I don't know, do I assume it's a tier one? It's um, vote crate key, right click to vote to win a night. So do I try it? Should I do this just for a laugh, see if it works? Hold vote three, ah. So I bet it's one of these, right? Right, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? I've got two golden apples for my vote crate key. That's all right, isn't it? You could have got loads of stuff there, but I got two golden apples, so I'm quite pleased about that. Actually, 
quite a lot done in that one, didn't we? We went over voting, we went over kingdoms, we went over digging holes, we went over standing on top of a wooden pole so zombies don't eat your face. We went over doing a little bit of a farm. Went over getting vote crate keys and now I've got golden apples as a result of it. I got my bushes. We did loads today. Right, I need your help. Now, we're not going to do an underground city, but maybe, just maybe, if we work out together, we could do a little underground village that doesn't go too far. So I still need you to come and help me dig this hole out a little bit. Now, bear in mind that people's claims go from like the sky's limit all the way down to y equals one. So if you can't dig out a thing, it's because someone's got a claim there. So maybe get them to come and do some digging as well. And then all's good with the world, isn't it? And if not, well, we'll just dig around them. But we can't make an underground city because it just ain't going to work, sadly. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, do come and have a go on divinewoods.net. IP is in the description below. It'd be great to see you over here. And slash Avamance will get you to this area so you can come and wreak absolute havoc and we'll just have a bit of a laugh. It'd be fun, right? If you have enjoyed the video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit the subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club. I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.